Good morning, folks. We've got space weather and multiple articles to cover today. We'll be looking at weather, Enceladus, cosmological physics, an iceberg. We had a special video last night. And of course, we are starting with the last 24 hours on our star. We had several filament collapses and coronal surges. Given their position, it is remarkable none released Earth-directed eruptions. We have several filaments remaining and sunspots, and those are what have provided the top events of the last day. We are seeing an uptick in solar flare activity. Several M-class flares occurred over the last 48 hours, and they're largely coming from the northern incoming group, top left. You'll see those flare flashes here amidst the coronal surges mentioned earlier. It is worth understanding that the flare makers are a smaller sunspot group by comparison to the others beginning to depart. It's a lesson in how magnetic complexity of sunspot groups can be more important than umbral size. Folks, the Pacific Northwest is taking a lot of rain right now. Major atmospheric river conditions coming out of the Central Pacific. This is the Goes West view, and it shows the train of rain pounding the coastline there. And it is continuing today. We're off to Saturn's moon Enceladus, where scientists are driving further on the concept that there may be life locked beneath the ice. It's one of my favorite moons in the solar system, and it very well may contain everything needed for microbial life, maybe more. Been getting a lot of questions about this iceberg. You may have heard about it in the news. Currently the largest iceberg in the world, broken free and floating towards the Atlantic. Yes, the news comments about global warming, but don't forget that Heinrich events where icebergs loose from the polar region serve only to freshen and chill the oceans and then the atmosphere. It's how Earth self-corrects temperature swings, and this is part of it. Excellent article up next from Dr. Pulowski. Many of you might remember the interview we did with him years ago. Not much has changed except that better space imaging has confirmed what was suspected before, that the polar alignment of satellite galaxies is in direct contradiction to the Lambda Cold Dark Matter model, the one we argue is highly flawed for a variety of reasons. We hope you caught our video last night replying to a recent article by Dr. Cohen about Earth's magnetic field. Catch it on our channel if you missed it. It's a good one. Still hoping he sees the video and replies. We tried honey to catch the fly this time rather than vinegar. Lastly, folks, don't forget to get tickets to our big event in Northern Phoenix, January 13th. It's an in-depth observer event with special guests, and we would love to see you out there. Tickets are found at the link below the video. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 5.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.